Hey friends, Ernie here with the uh, Trader of Futures. And we're going to be talking about volume profile today. I want to key you in on every Saturday, I hold a volume profile class that takes in the entire strategy. I'll teach you volume profile and then a larger strategy, a systematic way of evaluating these markets that is in incredibly effective. And uh, you can't miss this class. Every Saturday, I hold the class at 8 a.m. and 2 p.m., your choice. Once you're part of the Volume Profile membership, you can take as many of these classes as you want. Now, here is an additional benefit that when you take one of these classes, you also get a full coaching session for me. So you can take this class, you can learn the basics of volume profile, the overall strategy, analysis strategy that includes much more than just volume profile. I call it my volumetric analysis. Then you can schedule at your leisure a coaching session with me, absolutely free, it's all included. And then I'll take you through there and personally coach you on building your own systematic strategy. And then from there, I'm available to support you. It's really a great, a great value. Every Saturday. All right, links down below. Check it out. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the overall strategy and what we do here. Now, my strategy is multifaceted. I look at multiple time frames. I look at, first of all, the big picture, which includes... Uh, longer time frames and the fundamental analysis of the market so I can develop my my bias. All right? It's very important that you have a bias. It's like trading with the trend, for instance. Once I've done that, I look for high probability patterns. Now, this is different than being a technical analyst. It means that finding patterns that have extremely proven, verifiable, probabilistic, statistical certainty of course nothing's actually when i say statistical certainty that's kind of a play on words it's um a dichotomy i guess what it really means is that you want overwhelming evidence and have it proven through past statistical analysis that you have a high probability setup now from the this overall this big this framework you should be able to develop a few scenarios a bullish a bearish, maybe a neutral strategy or um, a scenario, and assign what you think are the best or the most likely ways that the market's going to go. Now, that is, in essence, the analytical method, but that doesn't include the entire systematic method. When you learn the systematic method, you're going to be learning something that professional traders use, how they actually improve themselves from from month to month, from year to year, and focus on one thing, and that is creating wealth. So it'll do you good by joining this class. When you do that, you're going to get a professional trader and coach to help you along and build that foundation that you're going to need to be successful. And you can use this training in a lot of different ways. All right, doesn't matter if you're a full-time, part-time uh, trader or investor. The class will be great for you. All right, let's take a look at uh, where we are in the market. Of course, from uh, everybody knows that where my fundamental analysis is, we are in a bear market. There's nothing that has changed that. We're coming down. You always should trade with the trend. Let's take a look at chart right here. So what we're looking at is a four-hour chart of uh, Bitcoin. You can see. Um, well, if we back up a little bit into this daily chart, you can see this big, huge bear flag that I, I wrote in here and then the potential area that it's going to that it that it could potentially move to and this is actually where I think this bear flag will eventually resolve to and that level is about 4400 I know that seems pretty scary the intermediate level is here at uh, 5700 or so 57 5800 our current level is at about 6700 now we're seeing a multiple successive 
bare flags. We have one inside this one breaking out here, then another one here, and now another one forming here. The next move appear, appears to be going from this high value node on the volume profile down to here. Now you can see we have a huge volume well. Volume wells are are like trying to run over hot coals. You want to do it really fast. <laughs> or you realize that you're not going to make it and you want to turn right around. That's basically what happens in a low volume node where we'll run through, price will move very fast, get to the deepest part of that well, then decide, man, do I go to the uh, other side of the chasm or do I turn around? It'll be one or the other. So there you can develop your scenarios. I believe that um, this time we're going to probably go right through and uh, back down to the 5700 area. That is my more intermediate target. And uh, when will we get there? Probably sometime early July. That's, that's my guess. Uh, it could happen overnight. It could happen tomorrow. Timing, that's a hard part. All right, so we're looking at the, um, the daily chart here. And then, of course, the next chart that we look at is the, uh, the four hour. And then I also use a one hour chart. I like to use three time frames. The superior time frames tend to uh, be the, uh, I guess you could say the um, uh, the guiding time frame, and the other time frames are subservient to it. But you know, as you get uh, down closer and closer into smaller time frames, different things can happen. Markets are generally news driven, and so far there's been very little news, positive or negative. Well, there's been more negative than positive. And when you're in the midst of a huge bear trend, that tends to keep on dragging on the market. The amount of volume continues to decrease. Now, we had some when we moved down here. High volume moving down. That's not a good sign. And then diminishing volume on this pullback. Again, that is another telltale pattern for a bull or a, I'm sorry, a bearish flag. Now we'll get into our one hour. This is a little bit close, a closer up closer up detail here we can see that there is a mini volume well right here once we get beyond this wall here this high value node wall is very little holding price up and you can see that every time that we've moved through these low value areas very very sharp movements now it's possible we could come down and then hit this and then move back up form another one of these bart simpson patterns <laughs> uh, but you know there's only so many times that we're going to do that we are running low on volume, running low on, uh, on market participation. There really isn't anything holding this market up. The only thing that's going to push this market up at this point is some whale or longer time frame buyer coming in and purposefully pushing that market up for whatever their devious purposes are. All right, there we go. That's uh, our Bitcoin analysis for this week. We'll take another look at it tomorrow. Now, again, we have the volume profile class on Friday. I'm sorry, Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday, the volume profile course is being held. It's a great value. I am. If you use the coupon code below, you'll get a discount and you get a coaching session. It's great value. Take a look at the reviews. If you want to see, uh, you know, there's been about 100 people that have taken this course. All the reviews, five-star reviews, averaging a five-star review. Take a look at the reviews, and you'll get uh, a feeling for what other people, what they've gotten out of that. Something that, um, it's a great value. That's all I've got to say. I wish I had this, avail this kind of teaching available to me when I was coming up. All right, that's it. We'll see you next video.